Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 48. This week I'm going to be talking a little bit about the Flash test menu and doing some experiments with it. Now this is a menu that Ricky and Dave developed to measure the shutter lag on your camera or to measure the lag and duration of a flash. Now the uh, shutter lag is going to be much greater and is an easier thing to measure so I'm not going to look at that today. But uh, there were some reports of flash durations that just didn't make any sense to me. They were much too long. So I'm going to do some investigation and compare what that menu is reporting back to what I'm seeing on the scope and see if we can get to the root cause of, of why the numbers being reported from for, for flash duration uh, aren't making any sense. So here's the new flash test menu in the latest beta version of the Cameraxx software. And it basically has two settings that you're going to set. The first one is the recycle time in seconds, which is basically how long between each trigger of the flash. And then the second one is the loop count, which is basically how many times it will trigger the flash. And the reason you want to uh, set that to more than you know one or two is because we want to see if the triggering of the flash is... Uh, consistent and, and the menu after it's recorded the three flashes in this case will provide a minimum maximum and average uh, for both the duration and for the lag. So all you do is you take the standard light sensor with the uh, camera axe and you point it directly at uh, the flash unit and I'm just waking up the flash now. And then you have to remember that this light sensor is sensitive to just standard uh, light in your room. So I'm going to cover it up with a sheet of paper to make sure that the light isn't uh, affect the ambient light isn't affecting it. Then I just hit uh, activate. And we get one flash, two flashes, three flashes. There it's done. Now if we go back to the menu here, we see that the lag and the durations are extremely consistent, which, which is very cool. Um, the lags are around 66 microseconds, which um, I'm not sure about. Um, can't remember what those were last time I measured them. However, the durations I can see right away are, are just way off. Um, I know that this Canon flash set at its minimum power setting, like I have it set, should have a duration of around one thirty thousandth of a second. So that would equate to a duration of 30 to 40 microseconds. And we're seeing, you know, 350 um, microseconds or 335 on average and uh, you know that's just you know we're, we're seeing things that are 10 times too large here uh, so something's going wrong because I just know the duration of the flash isn't that long so we're gonna have to look at this on the scope and try to figure out well, what's what's causing the problem I'm suspecting that the problem has something to do with the light sensor it's a photo transistor and that might not be fast enough to record the uh, burst of light from the flash. So we'll look into that a little bit uh, on the scope and, and see what's uh, causing these uh, durations of the flash to be too long. So here's a light sensor that Alan Saylor has shared with me. Right here's the circuit. I'm using the uh, top one. I've also tried the bottom one and uh, that one works uh, quite similar. Um, with this circuit, pretty confident that things are, are working the way they're supposed to be. I've used this in previous uh, videos, so we've got a high level of confidence. What we want to do now is we want to um, use this button to trigger the flash and then look on the scope to see uh, what the values are and then compare that to the results of the light sensor and see if the standard light sensor is, is fast enough to be used with the uh, camera axe in this case. I'll just trigger it, and there we've captured it. 
so let's see what we've got here. Uh, so pretty much ignore all of this up and down of the yellow. That's uh, the voltage of the button, and um, what we're seeing here is that there's a lot of debounce on that button. Uh, the blue line is the uh, actual flash. So what we want to do is we want to see uh, the duration till when it's about halfway uh, down and the voltage uh, slope there is about um, 24 microseconds. So that compares to a lag. So, so that's the lag, 24 microseconds is, is what lag we'd be expecting. Uh, and the camera axe recorded 66 microseconds. So it's quite a ways off there. It's off by about a factor of three. Um, and then if we look at the duration, we get over to about, let's say it's 60, 64, just to make the math easy. Um, that would be, uh, that'd be 40 microseconds, which is, you know, right around the area that we're uh, looking for. So that makes sense. We've got a duration of 40 microseconds and a lag of 24 microseconds. That's all believable. Now the question is, why is the uh, camera axe not recording that? And uh, to understand that, we're going to take a look at the light sensor on the scope and, and see if it's fast enough at responding. Um, w one thing I'll point out is that we can't really use this uh, light sensor as is uh, with the camera axe because it has a negative voltage, which isn't going to work with the camera axe. You could put um, an inverter or a comparator or something uh, using an, maybe an op amp to uh, sort of correct this negative voltage issue. Um, but uh, as is this circuit, while it's very good at measuring the uh, flash duration on the scope, would not be compatible with the camera axe. So this is the setup we're using for the light sensor. I had to rewire things a little bit because I needed to grab power uh, from the camera axe to power the light sensor. This one requires five volts. So um, the idea is the same. We're gonna use this button to trigger the flash and see what happens. So I'll just sort of cover this up with my hand so it's not getting uh, light ambient light shined on it and okay so what I can see is that the scale is completely gone out so I'm gonna try to capture um, with a smaller scale okay that kind of captures it even go a notch down. <clears throat> okay, so I, what I had to do is I had to shrink the scale on the x-axis um, so that each increment um, represents uh, 500 microseconds now, which is, you know, I think before, I, I forget what it was before, what was it, 10 microseconds or something? So the scale is much no, it must have been 20 microseconds before. So the scale is much more compressed now, which is sort of what we're expecting because uh, the duration, according to this light sensor, was much larger. So let's take a closer look. So I'm seeing multiple issues here. Uh, the first is that uh, each of these blocks in the y-axis is one volt uh, from down here. And... Uh, it looks like the maximum voltage that we're getting is something like 2.3 volts. We're using the digital I.O. on the microcontroller to convert these to just high or low signals. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, it's, it's not a solid high or low signal in this two, two range. So I, I suspect that this whole area in here is fuzzy. What we really want is we want this thing to spike up to, you know, above four volts and below one volt because I'm, I'm sure of those values. So you could look in the data sheet for the Atmel 328 and, uh, or the Atmel 
uh, AT Mega actually, 328, uh, is the processor I'm using in the camera X, and uh, it'll tell you what are safe, high, and low values, but um, you know, I'm pretty confident that 2.3, 2. 2. 2 ish is, is not going to be a, a solid high or low signal. So there's one problem. The uh, I know that the light sensor goes higher, so what, what must be happening is that the duration of the flash is so short, it's not giving the uh, photo transistor time to ramp up to the 5 volts it's expecting. Um, another problem is that the... Uh, duration is something like 640 microseconds which is just you know w way longer than what the good light sensor is working so so basically this just proves that uh my uh, guess is seems to be right that the the light sensor that we ship with the camera x is just not fast enough to do this kind of work so uh we're gonna have to design a new light sensor to use with this mode of the uh, camera app. Thanks for watching.